This is Jared from Commit Quality, and today we're going to go over the first video in my new Postman testing series. So what is Postman? Well, it's one of the top API tools. It's used to develop and test APIs. You can perform manual and automated API tests, and the tests are going to be really quick and easy because it's just hitting these API endpoints. One of the key benefits of using Postman is it has a nice and kind of intuitive interface, and it typically doesn't require much automation code. Of course, if you're using things like C Sharp, Java, you can even use Playwright and Cypress, you could use REST Sharp, REST Assured, but Postman is a kind of all-in-one tool to handle making these requests with a lot less code, and also to do it with no code, so you could do it all manually if you wanted to. So Postman does use a premium pricing model as well. But for this series, we're just going to use the free version. So I can show you this now. Let me go to the Postman pricing. And here you can see the differences. So for our case, we're happy with the free version. Everything we want to do and everything covered in this series is going to be using this free version of Postman. I should also mention as well, there are also different ways of running Postman. So you can use it on the web through a web browser, or you can download the app, which is what we are going to do. I already have the app downloaded here. If you don't have Postman downloaded already, you can just search for Postman on Google. Click on the download Postman link and just select what version you want. Of course, you can follow this as well using the web version. However, I'd suggest using the app just so it's exactly the same as what I'm doing on my machine. Once you click Windows 64 bit, download the executable for you. Just click the executable and follow the steps. You'll be asked to create a new account, which is completely free as we've just seen in that pricing model. And once you've done that, you should be on the same page that I'm on here. Now, before we actually get into doing anything, I want to I want to state what we're going to cover off in this series. So we're going to talk about installing and updating Postman, how to make different types of requests, grouping and organizing requests using collections. We're going to be adding query parameters to requests. We're going to go over simple API authentication, and then we're going to show how we can write automated tests in Postman, how we can run them using the Newman CLI tool and much more. The plan for this is basically to provide you with a beginner friendly overview of using the Postman tool while giving you enough confidence that you know how to understand the tool on a day to day basis. And I'm hoping after you watch all of the videos in this series, you should be able to confidently add Postman onto your CV and understand the majority of the concepts and tools that Postman is offering. The next video is going to be going over creating a basic HTTP request, but to get over this, I'm just going to click, I know how to use Postman. So we've gone through the install. Now I just want to show you how you can update. Now I've only just installed Postman, so we're going to be in a position where we have the latest, but what we can do, we can click the bigger menu here and on help, you've got check for updates. You can click check for updates and it'll make sure you have the latest version. In my case, I'm already up to date and Postman's on the latest. However, you may be in a position where you already have Postman installed and in a future date, there'll be different versions of Postman and you can just use this to update. Awesome. So I'm going to close that off. And in the next video then, we're going to make our first Postman request and go over the basics. As always, if you do have any questions, please drop a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to follow this series. And as always, thank you for watching.